Decision tree algorithms have been popular since the very beginning of machine learning. The main problem that's always plagued decision tree algorithms is their lack of optimality, because they've historically been greedy myopic algorithms like C4.5 and CART. And these algorithms construct trees from the top downward and then greedily prune them back afterward. The problem is that if a greedy algorithm chooses the wrong split at the top of the tree, there's no way to undo it. So these greedy algorithms produce suboptimal trees. But it's hard to improve over the greedy methods because decision tree optimization is hard, both theoretically and practically. Right? There's a combinatorial explosion in the number of possible trees we could consider. And even careful modern approaches haven't been able to solve these problems efficiently. Our work provides the first practical algorithm for producing optimal sparse binary split decision trees. We minimize the misclassification error regularized by the number of leaves in the tree. We don't use greedy splitting and pruning. Instead, we developed a specialized branch and bound method to solve the problem to optimality, leveraging computational caching. And when we solve it to optimality, we get sparse accurate trees, like this one on the Florida rearrest data. Our approach uses several important insights. First, we have a collection of analytical bounds that reduce the size of the search space. And these bounds allow us to prove that certain partial trees can never be extended to form optimal full trees. And these bounds tell us that the leaves of optimal trees must capture enough data and be accurate enough. And if they're not, we can eliminate that tree and its descendants. And some of the bounds tell us that when the tree has too many leaves to be optimal, then we can eliminate that tree and its descendants. And there are several other bounds, too. We represent each tree only by its collection of leaves. And this is a very convenient way to work with trees. And we store bounds and intermediate results within each leaf. We also maintain a permutation map, which lets us figure out whether we've already seen a different permutation of the leaves in a different tree that we've already explored. And we can also detect when we create a leaf we've used before and avoid recomputing the bounds for that leaf again. Additionally, we store a bit vector, indicating which data points have features corresponding to the features described by the leaf. And this lets us use fast bit vector operations to compute bounds. And the bounds and bit vectors in each leaf also let us use incremental computation to evaluate the children of the leaf should we decide to split it. These features, the strong analytical bounds, our representation, the permutation map, computational caching, and incremental computation combine to make our implementation really, really fast, which lets us produce truly optimal and sparse decision trees. Thank you.